All right, I got to be honest with you. I read your letter to men, and in principle, you have it kind of correct, but one glaring thing kind of poked out at me, <clears throat> and it's your whole pay on the first date. Um, you got a job. You work. I'm assuming you have a home, car. You make money as a blogger. I, was, I, read, your, I read your blogs, and, and I read all your blogs, so I, I kind of know what you know your, your little, little thing in there. And pretty impressed by your blog, but... Why does a guy have to pay on the first date? It makes no sense. This isn't the 50s where a woman doesn't have a job or isn't going to get a job or isn't going to be able to provide for a family. She's going to stay at home and, and have babies and cook and take care of a home. This is 2011. There, there, there's a lot of work to be done out there, and women are, are getting sometimes more jobs than men are, especially in this economy. So why, if I'm going on a date for the first time, do I have to pay? That doesn't make any sense. And that's not fair to me, nor is it fair to, to the other men out there. Are you assuming and telling all the women out there, hey, we got to pay for, on a first date? That isn't acceptable. Uh, if I ask you to go out, then yeah, I got to pay on the first date. But if you ask me to go out, why do I have to pay on the first date? That doesn't make any sense. And if I were to go out with you and have a first date, and you were to pay for that first date, I'm immediately, my manhood's going to get in the way. So I'm immediately going to go, okay, let's go for drinks. Let's go out for dessert. Let's continue this date. Not going back to the house and, and doing cocktails and that whole thing. That's a topic to be done with later. But dessert, I'm going to go pay now for dessert. You bought the dinner, I'm going to go ahead and pay for dessert. Or the reverse. If I take you out and I bought the dinner because I, I said, hey, let's go out for dinner one night and I pay for the dinner, then you should pay right after. You should take me out for dessert. It should be equal. If you want to be in a relationship, it should be equal. In today's society, everything has to be equal. How many first dates are you going to go on in your life? So if I'm a guy, let's call it let's call it 50 first dates. Okay, that, that's being conservative. In your lifetime, you're probably going to go on a date with 50 different women. 50 first dates, okay? That was, isn't that even a movie? Anyway, I digress. There is no way in hell I should be responsible for paying for every single one of those first dates. That makes no sense. And you not have to pay for them at all is ridiculous. Especially when you have as equal work, uh, earning power as I do, you can get as many jobs as I can. Like I said, and now in today's economy, there's probably more jobs out there for women than there are for men. They're accessible. So why do I have to pay for all the first dates? You should have to pay for some of the first dates as well, and provide for some of the, the entertainment. And there's nothing wrong with with picking a guy up in your car and driving to the date and, and dropping him off at his house. Why does the rules have to be reversed? This everything has changed now, and that's one of the things that in there that that I, I in that one blog your date to men your letter to men that really bothered me is me having to pay for on the first date. And I'm I'm a guy that tells all my other friends, don't ever go on a first date with a, with a girl. Never have a first date with her. Don't meet her out for dinner. It costs, a t it costs an arm and a leg to have a, girl, have a girl for dinner. But don't stand in the middle of the club either and expect to, you know, to, to be able to have a discussion with her. Take her to a small lounge where it's quiet. You can sit down and have a conversation and learn about her. But go for, you know, go for drinks or go for something. You know, go for coffee. Why can't you meet at one of the coffee shops in town and meet for coffee instead of going out there meeting for these dates all the time? To me, that makes no sense. I, I just don't understand it. But to me, I'm, I'm, I'm smart and I don't want to spend all my money on, on somebody that I'm not going not gonna to see anymore after the first date. And believe me, I'm a guy that knows. After the first date, I know whether or not we're working out or not. Like, I 100% what I tell you, I know where this is going e easily. I actually probably know before we even get to the first date because it's, it's, uh, it's a pain in the ass to even get to that portion. So anyway, there you have it. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoy this comment, and uh, hopefully you add it up. And uh, if you do like it, then uh, I'll be more than happy to correct you on some of the other stuff too later. <laughs>